Welcome back, everybody. It's me, GSD. Wait, let me get, let me get into. Actually, I got some light over here. I got some light. Look at me. I'm wearing some new duds, new hairstyle, looking fresh. So I figured out what uh, the secret room stuff was all about. So again, we're back again with some more deep room matter. Let me show you what this is all about. So when we gave the picture to this dude. Uh, we unlocked wardrobe options here, and I'm picking the, uh, the pajamas right now. And we unlocked some extra stuff here behind the scenes and artworks. So artwork gives you a few extra sketches. This is actually done pretty, like, really well. This is a nice drawing. And then the behind the scenes stuff gives you some behind the scenes stuff, some dev work. And this is like a pretty interesting uh, idea right here. I like this. But anyway. Oh, let me actually... I went. I worked my way through. Let me get back into the light here. I worked my way through uh, and I got the salt shaker and went through and got a bunch of stuff. So now we can have access to the witch's room. Also, we'll see what it's like when we go in there without my brother. And I also saved the picture from the piano puzzle because I wanted to see if I could give it to this person here. Look, see? New character portrait as well. Shows zero interest in this picture. Okay. Now, let's go. Oh. Now, I was speeding through while I was doing this dressed in pajamas, and I think... I think the puppet gave me different dialogue based on what I was wearing. I'm not sure, but that'll teach me next time to not speed through. The monster also chased me up here, which was different. I've never been chased here before. I dropped down here and almost broke my dang leg. But, we move on. Got the puzzle. Got the thing shattered. All right, let's slip some swalt on this. Swalt. It up. Use. This door. I heard that putting salt on doorknobs is a great way to hygienize them. Hygien hygienize them. Oh, it's because I didn't read the occult tome yet. Done. Let me read the occult tome before I, uh... Okay. I'd read parts of it. Base that's been removed from its original position through a spell. No place can be hidden forever. Okay, whatever. That's probably what happened here. Uh, let me see. Would this? For coat, it's rotting. It's a note in the pocket, but I can't make out the writing at all. Completely empty. Bookshelf. Safe is under the bed. I don't think there was anything in this. No. All right. And then we have this, finally. I'm supposed to use this. So examine it. Homemade ankle bracelet. It has almost magical aura. I wonder who crafted it. Small stone at the end is completely devoid of color. And then we use it. Bang. It's not working at all. Damn it. All right. Maybe we gotta talk to you first. The witch. Let's see if we get different dialogue. Oh my, a visitor. That's unprecedented. Uh, uh, are you witch? Dear child, I am a witch. No more remarkable than any other. As for my birth name, I am afraid it had gone lost long ago. Now, state the reason for your presence here. This is no more a place for mankind to cross into. And you are taking this lightly enough to go around in pajama! Hey! It did give me different things based on me dressed in pajamas, apparently. My... My name is Emily. I'm looking for my brother Richard. He got lost near the woods. I think he's inside this house. If he had gone lost, that is very likely. Have... Have you seen him? I suppose it bears repeating, child. You are my first visitor. I have not seen your sibling. This is a dangerous realm. Emily, you should go as far away as possible. I plan to do so after I find my brother. Also, I'm unsure 
about where to find an exit. I am sure you are. Unfortunately, at the moment, I am in no control of this mansion and the events happening inside. All I can do is lie beneath these worn sheets and hide. Wait for my passing, which I have foolishly extended beyond human reason. Oh, I, uh, Emily. Ah, yes? I suspect your brother's disappearance is likely one of the many unpleasant repercussions that derived from past mistakes of mine. Let me amend at my current best. There is a door that leads outside. An enchantment is in place, though. Something I can... Something I conjured in the past. This is the same. Uh, I have mapped down this place. Can you circle on this diary? Yeah, here you go. Thanks. Axe about my brother. I'm sorry to ask this again, but about my brother. Once, you would have tested my patience, child. But, time grants experience to those who look back. To be th truthful, parental concern is no stranger to me. I just wanted to be sure that there's no way for you to find where he is inside this mansion. You might not realize this, but I am in Hyde. This room is no more part of the place around it, and yet it is still trapped within it. It hurts my last shred of pride to admit it, but I am powerless. I know nothing of what happens in what used to be my domain. Um, I understand. That creature craves nothing but pleasure. If he could... If he got hold of your brother, it is too late. He may only find fragments of him. I believe it imprisons trespassers once he is done with it. With them. Most certainly close. The basement, perhaps. They... I mean, trespassers are not killed, right? It is a worse fate, child. Truth be told, that is why I hide. I would welcome death. Basement, then. That's my best shot. There is one more key issue, though. I'm sure that one way or another that creature will hinder you. That foul tree needs to be stopped first. How? Burn it. Okay, this is the same shit. Give me the lighter! I haven't even- I've only used it once. Okay. So I did all that, we got the stuff there. Let me actually save first before I try this out. Save. Right there. And we'll save right here. Because I want to keep a good trail, breadcrumb trail. Alright, let's try this out now. Ankle chain. Use. There we go. Um, may I? ask you about this? Yes. I have memories of this trinket. I used to wear it. A long time ago. Where did you find it? I thought it was lost and hopeless to retrieve. Oh, you want it back? Maybe years ago. It is no more useful to me now than food and water. It might serve some purpose to you, child. Here, let me kiss the gem. Mwah. Now. Rub the stone on blood to let it absorb it. It will need enough blood to shine a bright red. B blood It needs to fill itself with the blood of the dead. I'm sure that this manor will hide enough of it. Once it is ready, bring it back to me. I will kiss the gem once more, and it will become a powerful weapon against the creature. Oh, okay then. Find blood stains and around and rub this on them. Guess I can try it out. This turns out to be useful. Nice! Alright, I already know where some bloodstains are. We've we've encountered a couple on our journey here. Let me save this. Right here. And I think we're close to one right now. So this is now the path to the secret ending that we are diligently trying to accomplish. Don't come here. Nobody wants you here. Alright, good. We good. There's one in here I already know. Right? Here, look at that little blood stain right there. Big sofa. There's something spilled on the side. Is it blood? Use the ankle chain. Let me examine it first. Homemade ankle bracelet. It's devoid of color. Okay, so we're going to make it red again. 
use. This sounds like trouble. I still don't know if I can trust this witch. Let's try to rub the gem on this stain. Uh, nothing. Oh! Wait! This isn't blood, it's wine! Joke on me, huh? What? You tricked me! Alright, I know where another one is. Don't be here. Don't be here. Alright, we good. There's one right in here. There was one on the piano key, right? The door's locked. Though, it feels like there's some kind of- Oh, wait, I- Damn it! Alright. So, first things first. Let's see here. Wait, does she... Do, do you know where the blood be? Maybe I should ask as well for some questions. Do you have anything new to say regarding this? Let's go around ourselves fast. No, 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 never mind. Okay. Let's find some blood, y'all. But we probably still have to go through the game regularly to get my bro. And also to, you know, finish the game. Don't be here. Do I have another animal tile? I thought I did. No. I already put one in. Alright. I gotta change the clock. As well, to get to the piano that has the blood stain there. There's one in the basement. And I think there's one in the library. This is locked, right? Yeah. F that! How are you here? Crazy. Save. Here. Okay. Kidding me? Don't be here. I don't want you. Don't need you. Stay away. Let me see here. Was it on this side? No, it's gonna... The hell is this thing? Come on, bro. While we're at it, let's uh, change this clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screwdriver. Use. Change it to four. Uh, turn shorthand to four. Turn longhand to twelve. Get ready to run. Run. Okay, we're good. Get ready to run. Alright. It ain't here. There was blood... Like, right here. Right? I could have sworn I saw a blood stain on the bookshelf when I was inspecting. Oh, weird. Small blood splat on the cover. I knew it. That's why you read everything. Use it. It's this real blood. I can rub the stone on it to absorb it. I rub the stone on the blood. It's brighter now. Now we gotta get to... the upstairs with the piano. Don't be here. All quiet now, I don't like this. I think we're good. We're good. Nice. Blood should be... on the key. Over here. Wait! That statue is moving! The statue was here, originally. 
It was like right here. And then when we went to the basement, she said it looked like it was it, like she recognized it. It's here now. Nothing on the back of this bust. What? Can I break this thing? Word. That's crazy. Use. Wait, where the hell is the blood? A quicker look. Blood right here. So how do I do it? Exit? Blood! I can rub this, uh, okay, use it. Nice. It's brighter now. Alright, so what do we need to do? We have a rusty key, we have a shiny key, we have a screwdriver, we can have to- Oh man, I gotta change the clock again so that we can get into the dining room. Old picture, salt shaker, big clam, ankle chain, bookmark. Can't use the bookmark yet, we need to get the scrubber somehow, which I think was downstairs, and then we gotta use this music box to get more shit. Climb down. There's nothing else inside there that I need to get. But this, I do need. There's a room here. It's this. Can't get in there. It's completely jammed. That's the tree trunk. Turn the valve. Turn it. So that'll drain the tub and that'll let me get something upstairs. I think. Shit. Really hard to turn. Got it. Alright, and now we can go in here. It's too Oh! There's a blood spat there. This wardrobe is falling apart. The wings are broken. There's nothing inside but dust. Cobwebs and a blood smear. Well. Use it. Blood. You can rub the storm to absorb it. From the sun on the blood. It's brighter now. Let's examine that right now. Examine. Homemade ankle bracelet. The small stone at the end has a light red look. How many more do we need? Look, it's changing color as well on the item thing. Alright. Next. Found a piece obtained. I remember getting two. Right? Did I not use both on the hand before? Let's give it to the hand anyway. Uh, gotta use the fork on this thing here. Okay. Small key use. Door is now unlocked. Cool. And a bunch of stuff that we can't do. Bunch of big closed crates. There's a note on top of here. Read it. Note to self. The master always misplaced keys. Remember to keep track of them myself. That is another clue to another secret, I believe. The butler room where we got the small key, the key rack. I think if we put all the keys back on there, something else happens. But we'll do that in a little bit. I'm more concerned about the blood. I can barely make out the pitch dark trees outside. There's blood here. Let's uh, get that blurred. 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 There, use it. Blood. I can rub those on and use it. Remember the stone in the blood. It's brighter now. Let's take a look at that. Look how red that bee is. Secret room here. If we give you this one. Uh, photo piece. Use. Yes. Thank you. For this. Peace. Lock new development stuff. New music. New fan art. Oh yeah, the music's on this thing, right? Yeah. More. 
more. There are no more records at this moment. Leave. So we got more stuff, right? There's no other outfit behind the scenes. So how much behind the scenes stuff did we get? So we got this, this, new stuff. Yes! This is really cool. The art in this game is really good. Like, I, I can't remember if I mentioned this before, but I thought the pixel art is very good. Even the concept art. Th like, this is fan art? It's good fan art. This is very good fan art. This is the generator room. Alright. 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 Let's keep moving. I think we're okay. I would have died otherwise, right? If I go back... It's gone, right? Yeah. Served a delicious meal. Go in here. The last one was, I can't remember. But, let me see something. It's a photo that I got from here, right? The shelf, there's something written on it, but it's too small to read. Open. Oh, it's empty. Yeah, okay, so that means we already did that. Nice. Nice. Okay. Now there's the calendar room puzzle. Should we? Yes, we should. We should try and go and save. Where are you coming from? Don't you dare! Oh my god! That son of a bitch. Okay. So, we should be actively trying to get other secrets as well. So, let's do this. Rusty key. Use it on this. I guess I can leave this key here instead of carrying it with me around. I can get them back, right? Okay, good. So, that can I can always get the keys back if I really need to. So, if we put these on here... And now we get a secret. A piece of a photo inside. Take it. It's yours. Let's take these back just in case. Yeah. It's open. It's fine. Torn photo. Alright. There's another secret that we can get. Before I deal with the food thing. So if we get caught by this guy, I'm going to be angry. Okay. So we can save here. There's a secret in here. Oh. Okay. So there's two screws here. One here and one here. So I should be using the... Man, some of these are really hidden well use. I used to spot two screws. photo piece in here. Got it. So there's ten photo pieces. And some you can miss pretty easily. So we're trying to get these along the way. Well, let me save. I already missed one, unfortunately. It's got to do with the rabbit statue. We have two, two unlockable photo pieces here that we can use. If I go back to save without the rabbit statue, I should be able to get it, but I don't know if I have one that's available. Do I have one that's available? Mm, no, I don't think so. Maybe? No. I'd have to go back. It doesn't take long to get to the statue. It doesn't take long to get to the statue, so we should be okay. Let me save that again. I don't think I actually did save it. Let's see what these unlockables are like. All right. Photo. Use. Yes. Thank you for those pieces. 
Got a lot of stuff. Music. Fan art. Development stuff. Music. Fan art. Costume! Did you take all the pieces? Oh, he just took them in bulk. What's the other costume? Dress tomboyish. Cool! I wonder what this looks like. Uh, behind the scenes. Let's see what else we got here in the behind the scenes. This was the last one we had. Emily's personality is also born out of functionality for this kind of game. Her strong will and determination are entirely what drives her on the desperate search for a brother. She's quickly, she's quick to recollect her thoughts, uh, brave and all. Okay. This is stuff that I'm going to go for, through myself. This is about Richard. More about Richard. Large one eye. General look of the plant's effect on Richard are from advanced wars, dark conflicts, creeping derangia. While the fire mum, chrysanthemum, and dahlia flower were used as reference for a meaty flower design. Ew. This would have rather been beyond saving. Oh, so that's what he looks like. This is really cool insight. Let's see more of that fan art, though. Oof. Creepy. Creepy. All right. All right, if I use this picture, I can see what uh, we look like. Cool. Very cool. It reminds me of um, Heather from Silent Hill. I like the look. Cool. We'll rock this for a little bit. I have to actively be looking for these photos as well then. Because I don't want to miss them if I'm too far. One is in the dining room. So we left this at dinner time, which is 630. And we got to actually do this event here. Which was the dining trolley, which I have not examined yet. The mouse. It goes in there. Stupid mouse. It scared me for a second. So the other mouse... Uh, wait, 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 wait. We... Okay, so we gotta do the puzzle now. And have access to the cellar. We gotta get the cheese to get the mouse. We gotta have the cheese to get the mouse. Okay, go. In here! to jump down. Oh, bitch ass monster. Ouch. That was a bit hasty, but worth it. Save that. Save that right there. Yeah, baby. We're doing good. We're doing good. A stuffed wolf head got his, both of his eyes now. Okay, so we changed it. He chased us, great, whatever. But, but, there is a secret in there still. Cause I think we got the book that one time and we probably turned in the picture before. But, there's a broken lamp there that, you know, no other person would probably recognize cause I didn't. And you're supposed to use uh, the rubber glove on it because you don't want to get electric electrocuted. Electricity does not conduct through rubber. We use rubber glove. Use. I guess by using that, this rubber glove I can save myself from frying from touching that lamp and its exposed wires. We take this. We good, we good. Well, well, well. Look what's under the glass. A piece of a photo. Lucky not to catch fire in there. Lamp is hot. We didn't un like. There's no way to unlock this, right? Seems this door is completely jammed. Yeah, can't unlock it. 
So far, so good. I'm... I'm liking the fact that there's so much extra that you can do after the game. It's just you have to play the whole game again to get it. Uh, shortest way there is just to drop. We drop. So we have four bloods and five or six photos, I think. So far, we're doing pretty dang good. Turn this in. Nope. Back. Give you the photo piece. Use it. Here you go. Yeah. Thank you for this piece. Development stuff. Music. Art. How much music did we get? Breaking in. Intro. Faith. More. Rags. Chased the doll. More. Darkness, more. Reunion, more. Leaf. There's no more at the moment. But... Do we get- we got more development stuff, right? So it starts... This is where we left off, I think. Or the puzzle? The puzzle. So what's next? The true evil in Deep Root Manor, craving a son which gave birth through an unspeakable ritual to this demonic entity. Attempts at cutting it down by the construction workers succeeded, but the stump stubbornly remained. Over time, it grew back, taking control over the mind of the butler, as well as forcing the witch to go into hiding and maintain and gaining the morbid affection of the doll. Oh, is the butler the monster that's chasing us? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's the, the owner. Tree roots are growling through the manor's walls. When paid attention, one can notice that they just have recently reached the first floor. The video's intro placeholder and the trees right there. Okay. All right. His objective in capturing the people who wander into the manor seems to be purely to violate them and leave them trapped to their doom. He sees danger in Emily and orders the butler to kill her off. Oh, the butler is the monster. She was the very first character by to be developed. Bring him a mansion in the setting, infesting it with vines. Uh, Demonic tree, whose goal is nothing but purely spreading his roots, seeds, and influence. He's not the first of his kind, as accounts of this unnatural plant's type can be found in a book inside the library. Originally, the final confrontation was supposed to be against the tree itself, proving difficult to create from scrap, uh, scrap a fair and natural-looking fight against the rampant roots. The idea was scrapped in flavor of the doll attacking first, directly the player. Even then, if hypothetically free from technical limitations, the doll would have been controlled by a tree's root. Almost like a ventriloquist puppet. Uh, the tree has been influenced by both the Yadivio legends and the Lone in the Dark's Ezekiel Pregg's character, which in turn was influenced by H.P. Lovecraft's short story, The Tree, while the very first rough concepts sketched were of a demonic-looking tree. It was soon changed to a regular, if not overgrown and imposing tree. The water surrounding the tree gives a unique, ominous, and almost ethereal look to the room. Okay. He's a screwdriver on you. Burn you with the the lighter. No, 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 no. Whoa, what? I'm curious, though. I saved pretty fast. I saved up at, in the chapel. Let's just burn this bitch. What? This would be a smart thing to do. But the flame is going through her? Oh, crap. Gone.
Okay. Use. Blood. Rub the stone on use. Rub the stone on the blood. It's brighter now. Slice me off some of that. Good, good. Cheese. Red knife. Use. This knife should be enough to cut off a small piece of cheese. You don't plan to eat it, right? Ew. All but that. Cheese. Got it. Let me inspect that cheese! Small piece of rather mature cheese. Best enjoyed with crackers. And then this is where we gotta put the holy water when we can do the holy water stuff. I found a root in this wind. Seems like this door is completely jammed. But we can unlock this. Unlock the door. And that way we can get back up. How do you unlock this door? Well, this is good because we can get in here. And there's supposed to be something in here that I can get because I changed the clock to seven. In the freezer, there should be dessert. In this box. Small box on the shelf. There's something written on it, but it's too small to read. I think I can make it out. Cream puffs! Oh! It's a box of sweets then. Open it. There's a piece of a picture inside, along with a few cream puffs that I guess have expired. Did I get the cream puff as well? Oh. Well, the picture's good too. I wish we could open this dough so that we can, you know, escape easily. Kitchen closed. Completely jammed. I don't need to go to the other save room. I just need to get out. And then we can give the cheese to this little BB over here. Use the cheese here. Cheese. Come on, little mouse. Eat something! Hmm? He took the cheese, but there's something else he was carrying and left here. Photo picture, baby! Let's get the hell out of- Oh crap, we can't get out of here. We gotta climb out, don't we? Locked. Locked. And that one's probably locked too. Alright, let's get out of here. Gotta go back into the cellar. Please don't kill me. I've done so much. Alright, we good. Let me look at the inspect the ankle chain. Homemade ankle bracelet. The small stone at the end shines the brightest shade of red I've ever seen. I think we got them all. I don't think there's any more blood stains, right? So let's go ahead and take this to the witch. See what she gotta do about this. Don't kill me. Thank goodness. Okay. I tried to burn the doll. Bruh! With those pieces. What? Development stuff. Music. Fan art. Development stuff. Music. Fan art. Costume! What is a costume? Sassy? Wait, more? Regular back. Let me see what that sass look like. Whoa, isn't that a bit revealing? <laughs> what? It's from the early 2000s. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> what? Do you have a thing for 
like a dialogue for each one? Dress dreamy? That looks like a pajama. Are you going to sleep? Back off. I like the colors. Dress tomboyish. Wait, right, you didn't say anything. Dress regular? You didn't say anything for that. Sassy? What the frick? Is this- hold on. From what I saw... Oh crap, I got- okay, hold on. Alright, let's do the old picture. It's Britney Spears, right? That's Britney Spears? Look! Or is it just like regular, you know, 2000s look? I don't know. I think that's supposed to be Britney Spears. I like the tomboy look. Cool. Oh, it shows you how many I've gotten on here already. So let me see this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven. I know I missed one, so technically I should be at eight. Let me see that. Oh, wait, did I get more? I got more development stuff. The butler. The butler, internally referred to as such, but simply known as the monster in game, is the recurring stalker that chases Emily through the manor. Formerly the master's butler, he was corrupted by the tree and slowly turned into a mysterious puppet and abides to the tree's will. He acts as the tree's henchman, handyman, being ordered to kidnap whoever gets in the mansion and bring them to him. In Emily's case, though, sensing her will and witnessing her sharpness, the tree ordered to kill her first. The butler will be, will do his best to carry out his master's wishes. The butler is supposed to be responsible for several scares more than once. He violently bursts onto screen, accompanied by a daunting and reproductive, repetitive short theme that imitates a distressed heartbeat. Uh, his attacks proved to be sudden and worrying enough, even though more than half of the work is done by the player's mind being on the edge and fretting over shadows and sounds. That's true! That's very true. I always, like, dreaded that the butler is coming for me. His sudden appearances are never truly randomic, though. They simply follow patterns that are intended to be too ambiguous to predict for players even on multiple playthroughs. Huh. There is some that you can predict. Wait, was that it? I had this, then this. Oh, there we go. Development of the butler. An ability to climb stairs can be explained by his human memory fading. I'm way on a basic level. Technically speaking, he can climb stairs. He just takes too long for him to even bother doing so during chases. Bullshit aside, the harsh reality is that his distaste for stairs is mostly a technical limitation. Ha! Just checking to see if you guys secrets in here. The doll! Uh, back when the mansion was about to be built, the construction team had to cut down a tree that was on site. While the stump remained, the witch carved a strange-looking unnamed doll from a log. It seems that, unbeknownst to her mother, she has long been corrupted and sided with the tree to trick unlucky visitors. While during her design process, there were several attempts to add an outright creepy doll. In the end, she was a more subdued, deformed look. Her plan from the start was to make the player question how trustworthy she is. That's true. The doll pre and post. The witch should have their own development. <laughs> Evil face here. This is pretty cool to see this stuff. Okay, we'll leave it here so that we know that we can come back to that. Uh, and then fan art. Seen it, seen it, seen it, seen it. It's new. Wait, he's got the mouth on his eye in this one here? That is always a flower. She loves the doll. <laughs> the doll ain't liking it.
Bro. I'm good fan art. All right. Let's keep secret finding. What do I got next? I gotta do the butterfly. I gotta take the 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 bra the ankle bracelet. Let's go and save though. The so baller don't like stairs, but he chased me down the stairs. He just doesn't like chasing upstairs. Save. There we go. Okay, so we have to get to where. The witch's room. Fastest way there is going up through here. All right. Stop. Is this footprints in the water? This wasn't like this before. All right, we're here in the witch's room. I brought my brother. Let me go and save first. I know that he can go through the window too, so we gotta do that puzzle as well. There's an achievement to beat this game in what, two hours? How long have I been taking this? You just gotta know the puzzles. You can't read anything. You gotta go through and just do it. Um, let's make sure that she gets the story purpose from Have you changed your attire, child? Yep. Well, fine enough. <laughs> I feel judged. What the? Your brother, I presume. Richard, you did find him. Y you're the witch? You might appoint me as such, yes. After all, I devoted my life to witchcraft. It's okay, Richie. Let's, let me talk to her. Okay, now about Richard. Oh, I mistook the last ending. Ending C, when we did the ritual. The soul transfer is, I transferred... It was supposed to transfer my soul into my brother's body. So at the end, when we get up and we just look down, it's the brother in Emily's body, right? And then Emily died. I believe I got enough blood. The gem is now bright red. It is. Good job, clever child. Let me kiss the gem once more. There. Bring it with you. And break the gem onto the tree's bottom. And good luck. Uh, thanks? Okay, now we gotta go through and just do the game as we done did before. Send my bro down there and let's do this puzzle. If I have my brother with me, there's this box here that I can reach. What is it? This bookcase has something on going on. No, not really. But there's something on top of it. Some box. It's a bit high, though. Let me guess. You want me to climb on your back and get it? What a good idea! It would have. I. It would have never occurred to me. R R. Seriously speaking, though, are you feeling good enough to do that? Yeah, no big deal. Hey, there's a piece of a photo in here. There you go. Photo obtained. Thanks. I'll hold on to this. Potted plant infested with vines. Looks thirsty. Who knows? This is where I'm supposed to pour the water in. Uh, rubber glove. Use. Poor plant. Should I shouldn't waste the holy water, but I guess a drip is gonna be fine. Hey, the plant is blossoming yellow flowers already, and there's something that was clutching, clutched by it. Photo piece, baby. That's a nice gesture, Emmy. Thanks. Okay, let's do this music box puzzle and then get the hell out of here. Uh, we got seven there, so we have nine. So we missed one.
Development stuff. Music. Art. Development stuff. Music. Art. Nice. Let's take a look. Behind the scenes. That's a doll. Story is uh, saying never aspired to be more than it needed to be. The premise is simple enough. And a creepy mansion as the game's backdrop is sure not to impress anybody with its originality. Uh, lore exists to support the events happening in the game and everything related to the mansion. It's all purposefully held in the background, though, keeping the story-related notes scarce. A player interested in this side can theorize and find support through the maps themselves, which includes Emily's observations. Generally speaking, no infos are too forced if they don't fit the dialogue or theme. Uh, this can be easily observed, for example, by how even Emily's name can be lost to players who skip the witch. The informal doll never asks Emily her name, and at no point it makes sense for Richard to call his sister by her full name. Hmm. Uh, Why is he on top of the table like that? Richard was sometimes uncooperative. Turns out a few times his AI was stopped and not properly restarted. Oh. It was that the player played the game's development was to be found in dialogues, sometimes having difficulties to load the first letter of sequences. At this issue, as this issue arises from RPG Maker itself, the solution applied is mostly a band-aid, but it does seem to kill the problem. Man, bug fixing in dev is like one of the biggest portions of development, if not the biggest. Building something is not as hard as trying to figure out all the problems that arise from what you built. Artworks. Oh, we can just go backwards, right? The doll. That is not the witch, though, right? Or is it the witch? That's her bedroom. And then there's a note. And the brother. This is a good drawing. This is also good. This must be them younger. This one's crazy, though. That brush stroke is so good. But this one I like a lot. That's some good... <laughs> that is, like, such a good composition. They're all good. All right. Get me out of here. We gotta... We got stuff to do. Um... Yeah, we got one there. Th four and five. That's what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna save this real quick. And I'm gonna get to the part with the rabbit statue. Get that last piece... And then, we'll continue and try and finish this game. Now the last time I pushed it, it was, I pushed it up there. This time, I'm supposed to push it down the balcony over here. I can't believe this is working. And then we push it over the, the balcony over here, into the middle room. We should get the last photo. I didn't even think you could move it into here. It's a bit too high to drop down from here. The rabbit statue got shattered in pieces. She said that, but I jumped down there when I was trying to escape the monster. It's all good. Let's go and open up what's inside that thing. I don't think I'm going to try and do all the achievements because one of the achievements is to beat the game without saving. Ah, look at that. Oh, the great. Looks like there's something inside. A piece of a photo. Take it. This is the last one, right? Four, five, this is the last one. Photo. Use. Yes. Thank you for this piece. Unlock development stuff. Unlock new music. Unlock new fan art. And a new costume. And an achievement. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, let me see if there's any new music on here that we haven't actually heard more. 
more, 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 more. Escape tree. More. Ending A, B, C, more. A dream and J. This is a spoiler. These two are spoilers. We can get ending J. I, what is a dream? Well, we'll figure that out when we do it. Let's take a look at the stuff behind the scenes. Yeah, we can just go backwards. Okay. So we started here. This is the the sister one development. It's been mostly single-handed during the span of approximately one year. One year to make this game is really good, actually. The goal has always been to create a humble game in RPG Maker MV that people could evaluate as engrossing as some of the popular RPG Maker horror games that from the late 2000s to the 2010s. Oh, wow! That's really cool. That's kind of giving me, like, some, some Grizz vibes here. Man. I envy people that can draw. I used to be really into drawing. I was originally... Uh, I went to school for art, and then I went to school for graphic design. But before I went to school for... <laughs> this is... Okay. This is my journey into to being a developer. Art, biggest subject in school. I used to love painting, sculpting, and drawing and sketching. I used to have tons of sketchbooks. Then I went to school for art. Then I wanted to do cartooning. And I was like, ah! They gave me this book, this thick-ass book, to do as a take-home to, to get into the school. I'm like, I like it, but I'm not that in love with it. And then I was like, how can I make money with it? And then I was like, okay, I'll do, be a graphic designer. And I did graphic design. And then after graduating, I worked as a graphic designer. And then after that, I was like, mm, print's dead. How do I make money on the web? And then I became a web designer. And then I became a web developer. That is my joiny. Uh, dress special, dress regular. Wait, wait, wait. Dreamy, tomboyish, sassy, special. We haven't done this one yet. What does this one look like? <laughs> There's a pairing suit in the wardrobe for this one, but it's for kids. I'll bring it with me and give it to Richie when I find him. What? We are the case detective shit over here. Okay. Let's make sure we save it. So that is is on the other save. I b believe it's like soft saving and like sending it to the other save files for me, but who knows? We'll just do this just in case. Save. Here. And now we quit. Get back to the other one. Quit game. Yes. Continue. I have two just in case because I left it running while I went to eat my dinner. Uh, I think this should be fine here. All right, we got the photo plates. We are in this costume. Let's see what happens if I change into the costume because it said that we can give it to Richard as well. That's pretty funny. Uh, dress special. <laughs> can we take those dresses home? Can we? you damn right we're both going to. I guess we gotta... Man, I like the Heather look so much though. Let, let me change into the Heather look. Nice. You look good, Emmy. Let's focus back on getting out of this nightmare now. Yeah! Cool! Alright. Alright. We gotta get to... Don't be messing around here. We gotta get to the, the room with the, the, the dough, unlock it, and then we start the ending process. Ankle bracelet. Yeah. What? 
doll's just sitting here, motionless. Go inside. Oh, well, you can go left and right. Is that, am I gonna die still? Where am I going? Holy surprise! What? What do you think, Emmy? Got you good, huh? <laughs> Catch sight of her eyes? She's completely caught off guard. What? What is this? Wait, what? You tell us? Come on. What day is today? What? Day is today? Come on, Emmy, don't play stupid. Maybe she's not playing it at all. Is this a surprise birthday party? Of course it is. Yours. It was all a prank we got, we put together to party. Big guy made the cake. And I have written the screenplay of this theatrical t tomfoolery. Hey, the idea's mine. This was all for a birthday party? Who is this? Yep, didn't see it coming, did you? Who is this? It's me, but why do they look like this? No! That means it worked pretty good. And who are you? I'm evil, Emily. Would have loved to participate in the prank, but I had lots of work to catch up with. Come on, Emmy. Blow the candles! Shush. You'll get your share after Pretty Miss blows the candles. Gee, you're always a kidder, Richie. Oh well. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Even the ending character art is the costume. Yeesh, the doll though. What? That's pretty funny. Ending J as ending joke. And different music. Joke ending. I got ending J and casual Friday. What? What is casual Friday? Maybe start like, oh, I think, hey, there's a star in the corner over here. What is this? What is that? I can't click on it. Uh,. Let's go back. Word. Up. There's nothing else here, right? Well, that is Deep Root Manor, everybody. Thank you for watching. This is a really good RPG Maker game. Like, it's showing me that you can do so much more with RPG Maker. I'm always astounded that people can, like, play with the engine so much and, you know, make something cool like this. I felt like the aesthetic was good. I think it was a little too dark in some places, but I like the art. I love the character portraits. The music was right in most places. And the fact that so little like music was used 
And it was so quiet throughout that when music started playing in certain places, I would get scared because I thought something was going to happen. In terms of the puzzles, I thought they were very well thought out. They were very well done. Some of them were very hard. I think part of the difficulty was the fact that I couldn't see some, like, some of the things. Like, the safe is just a little... Little two pixel like splotch there to indicate that there's something there. So in this, like you have to be really, really uh, aware of your surroundings. Checking everything helps also. So good thing I read all the books in the library because it helped me find a bunch of things. But I I thought the puzzles were very smart. They were re very well done. I like that, uh, and I like that they put in like. A little development process at the end. It shows you like what they were intending to do, some of their problems, some of their uh, success, uh, how they would do things differently. You know, I like seeing the inside the mind of you know development process of a lot of things. But I'd like to know what you all thought. So thank you everybody. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll be back again with some more indie game goodness.